Here at Too Simple, we are proud to provide a service to schools that is transformational to their curriculum. This is Purple Mash, an online suite of tools and resources that thousands of teachers are familiar with and regularly use to help them teach engaging, innovative lessons. A school's Purple Mash subscription includes thousands of resources, an online space for users to generate their ePortfolio, secure logins for staff and pupils to use anytime, anywhere and on a range of devices, and on-site or online bespoke CPD for whole staff as well as individual teachers. The computing scheme of work is well used and can be adapted to meet a school's needs. It has been instrumental in increasing staff confidence in teaching the subject and utilises a range of tools that have been designed and built especially for primary school children to learn key skills in computing and carefully designed to enable children to transfer those skills when using other software and progressing into secondary school. In recent academic research, 90% of teachers reported that using Purple Mash had directly increased their competence in teaching computing. And 98% of teachers and leaders surveyed reported that Purple Mash effectively scaffolds children from their first experiences online towards confident use of secondary school and workplace technologies. At Too Simple, we see teachers and children enjoying and benefiting from using Purple Mash every single day because we go into schools and because schools and parents tell us about it. We love Purple Mash. It's a really useful one-stop shop for um, all the things we need to do with the computing curriculum. The kids love it. They love changing their avatars. They love all the different tasks they can do. It's really simple to use and um, for even for old um, dinosaurs like me. It's very organised. Everything that you need as a teacher is there for all the different classes. I really like it because yeah, it makes my job as a teacher very easy. Teachers' familiarity and trust in the product means that it is widely used across the curriculum not just in computing. And we support that by offering a wide range of resources for different subjects areas and providing cross-curricular ideas. And there it is. A snippet of one of our creative writing videos found in the English section. Alongside that, you'll find a range of activities from planning a route to the egg, to designing and making an egg box, and creating an egg cracking animation. All of these cross-curricular resources are mapped to the national curriculum in the teachers area. You'll find curriculum maps for each subject and other popular frameworks. All children's work can be shared locally or globally using a link, QR code, email, blog or display board. And as well as celebrating work done in Purple Mash, children can upload their own photographs and videos to celebrate. Yeah! Our Purple Mash community is important and we hold regular competitions. Our Christmas card competition attracts thousands of entries and is part of the festive season for many. In addition to this, we have held a games design competition with regional finalists pitching at the Amazon offices in London. Purple Mash doesn't stand still. We run regular teacher panels and welcome feedback from our users. We use this to make sure we keep the service up to date and develop it in a way that meets the needs of our community and new curriculum requirements. We enjoy building new partnerships with companies such as DK Learning to make new content available and we enjoy sharing new developments with schools. At the moment we're working on the lab, a place for children to tinker with new tools, give feedback and have a go. RoboLogo using microbits is an exciting new part of this. Purple Mash provides rich and varied learning opportunities for children of all primary ages, all around the world, to learn, share and collaborate. We're product and we're people, and you are welcome to join our community. Tomato. Tomato. Cheese. Cheese. Cupcake. Cupcake. Not giving up. Yes. <laughs>